events in the Long Island chapter? Yes, and in fact, the leaders try to um, attend the other chapter's events to support and help in the network. Okay, so you said an un-event or? Oh, unconference. An unconference. Mm -hmm. What is? How is that different than the other conferences? So. The, the main difference is that when you go to the when you go to a, a conference in general, there is um, there's an, a set agenda and it's up to you to really take the impetus of networking, connecting, and right. finding out who's there in the room or speaking, and really make an extra effort. Right. So it can be quite tiring. In the unconference, the two main differences are number one, you have that already figured into. The agenda for you and smaller groups are designed so that you actually connect with people in the greater conference and we have a Zen room okay. so you can go and kind of take time out and regroup and better incorporate all of the great learnings and, and information that you're assimilating during the conference right and one of our testimonials was, you know, that the Zen room was the, fan, the most fantastic thing ever because it, it let her really um, embrace and engage with everything that she knew she was getting and needing to implement after she left and went back to her business. So when, how many months ago was it that you found out about the Women's Prosperity Network and became involved with it? We met Andrea in April of, of 2015, this of, of this, this year. year. Joined in May okay. um, by attending one of her masterminds to see what it was all about. Okay, so you can go to a mastermind just to yes. attend to see if you yes, like Yes, you it. can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Members get a discount. Um, the Westchester chapter is having a mastermind where whether you're a member or not, you can come in at the same price for that event. Um, and we were so blown away by the uniqueness of right. how this worked their signature mastermind formula, it goes back to the Napoleon Hill's theory of, you know, masterminding is one of the four principles of success, right, in Think and Grow Rich. So that's one of the components that our network really has down pat. And um, we were so blown away by that significant uniqueness that we said we have to bring it to Westchester. Okay. So, um, and it's... It's unique because you get to go narrow and deep with the, the women at your table and you're there for each other, whether I'm the one for you, you're the one for me, or we're the ones for other people in terms of, and when I keep saying the one, Nancy Matthews um, wrote The One Philosophy, okay. a little book with a big impact, and that's one of the founding um, tenets of the network is to be the one for others. Right. So it's not about giver's gain. It's about what, what you're saying? It's, it's about being there for someone else, and you never know when someone else will be there for you. Right. So it's a whole different mm -hmm. mindset. Completely. And you have the mastermind segment, and then you said there was three other? Mm -hmm. Right. So it's based on masterminding being the first one, right. and, and we do that monthly. Organized planning. So that's where, say, for example, the Level Up Conference fits in. Right. And then we have specialized knowledge, so that's all of the training and the and the, um, the online and offline programming, and including the unconference, because there are there are many expert speakers engaged in the conference as well, the unconference, and so that speaks to that discipline within the areas of success. Right. And then there's coaching and mentoring, which is um, throughout. It's there are multiple opportunities to be coached and mentored, no matter where you are on your journey professionally, personally, there's someone either in your same boat right. and or someone who's gone there before. So it's a lovely dovetail of um, validation mm -hmm. from people who are in the same place as you, right. as well as someone taking your hand and with love showing you the way to success. Okay. So it's kind of working together. Absolutely. Which is what EWE is all about. Which yep. is Very synergistic. Do. Yeah. Yeah. How much time do you put in a week on this? So, without being a leader, uh, it can it can be you know an hour for the Wow Wednesday Tele Summit, up to five to ten hours a week, depending on what you're looking for and how much you would like to engage with the community. Right. I have found that I really like the community, so I engage with it quite a lot, 
And as a, as a leader, it just adds a little bit then to, you know, to send out invitations and organize events and things like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Basically, how often is the mastermind? Meeting? Monthly, once it's a month. Monthly, mm -hmm. and each general... chapter meets once a month, and they meet on the same topic. So whether you come to Westchester, Manhattan, Long Island, or it's anywhere all the same else, topic. it's the same topic, right? And this month, you. So for Westchester, though, for the first mastermind, it's a little different. It's about the four agreements. Okay. And it's creating agreements that inspire and motivate you. Okay. And then that's always the topic when we launch a chapter. Okay. And then we slip into the regular monthly topic. Okay. Well, very good. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more about uh, the program they have, Sisters Who Serve? Mm -hmm. Sure. So, full disclosure, having been married for 13 years to a former military man, I consider myself a military woman in, in family way. So what typically happens is w there's a transition because ultimately, unless your career military, um, military career ends either out of choice or out of need, such as a uh, medical retirement, mm -hmm. right? Um, in, in either case, you have a transitional event that can be very isolating to women who are programmed to connect Right. into the larger fabric. So now their society, their societal connections through the military are now all shifting and changing and now they have to be incorporated back into society. Right. So on multiple levels there's there are shifts that need to occur and you know support mechanisms that need to be in place and sometimes it's as easy as you know just knowing who to turn to, where to go for this type of assistance, help, you know, even just community, camaraderie, as to there is a way forward and here's where it is. For themselves, for them, their family, for their children, whoever is affected beyond right. the woman, it includes them all. And the, the organization that's part of the Women's Prosperity Network, they actually speak to a lot of those issues? Yes, whether it's economic, spiritual, physical, mental, whatever dynamic or a multitude of those components, um, there, is, uh, there are resources in Women's Prosperity Network to help with that for healing, for growth, for transition. Okay. And you said before that part of the reason why you got involved in the Women's Prosperity Network is for your legacy. Yes. So you want to speak a little bit to that? Yes. Well, so I was never blessed with my own children, and I find myself in many ways taking care of other people's children, whether it's helping their family with their planning, or whether it's um, coaching and mentoring women so that they can be more um, aware and confident of their own skill set so they can actually bring in more income to their family, regardless if that's in the corporate arena or through their own business. Mm -hmm. um, even community service and orienting towards, you know, charitable um, activities, right. which is can be very rewarding for women and something that women tend to like to do is to give back. So any of those elements, um, if I can help another woman get further along the path, I'm helping in her own legacy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you're part of that. Yeah. So it's not about what someone can get from you, it's about what you can give to them. Absolutely. And when you bring somebody up, you're actually changing the whole tenure of the whole environment. Yes, and women um, do tend to be very grateful and long-term, you know, oriented. So if we can make a little tweak at the earlier stage, mm -hmm. it's never too late, but the earlier the tweak it happens or the coaching and mentorship happens, the bigger the effect for that woman and all the lives that that woman touches. Right, exactly. So basically, the um, you can find out all about it by going to a free mentorship yep. to find out and you can find out about you know whether or not it's something that you want to be involved with. Absolutely. 
Another question. Um, does the Women's Prosperity Network interact with other groups and organizations, and if so, how? That's a great question. Recently, we uh, engaged with womeninpartnership.org to um, do a speed networking um, record-breaking attempt. Okay for the Guinness uh, Book of World Records. So, yes, on occasion... What do you mean record-breaking event? So, and I forget the statistic, but it's something like, you know, 1,300 people networking at any one time, I think, is close to the record, and we were attempting to break that in multiple um, geographic areas. Okay. So we had, if memory serves, four chapters that participated in trying to add... Um, numbers to that um, record-breaking attempt. Cool. So it's just one example of how, yes, um, we will either be approached by other entities or approach other entities to do work together. Right. And how do you see um, WPN as different than other networking groups? It's really the, um, the uniqueness comes from the core values and the mission of the entity. So to clarify, it's about community with a capital U. It's about co-opetition instead of competition. It's about being a go-giver instead of a go-getter. Okay. Putting people before profits or paper are some of the, the high points. And, and truly, it almost sounds too good to be true, but the members embody this. It actually trickles down from the top because the three sisters have very different disciplines and unique abilities and they the respect and admiration that they have for each other is fundamental within the organization and comes through everything whether they're on platform speaking to us on the phone for coaching giving a telesummit what have you that just emanates throughout the organization and we all embody it mm -hmm. Now, you told me before that you were going to tell me what an illuminary did. Oh, luminary. A luminary. Luminary. Okay. So, a luminary is about seeing, um, pretty much illuminating what's happening right now. So, Susan Winner, the luminary, is very adept at going to the heart of the matter and figuring out, oh, okay, this is really what's going on, so this is what we need to do is the next step, or this is the resource you need to talk to to the, do X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. So she's my go-to person as a leader. I call Susan and I say, okay, this is what I need. What do I do next? And she has the answer right away. Okay, and then the other, and these are? These are the co-founders. Right. These are the sisters, right. and so, so that's Susan Winner. Nancy Matthews is the visionary. She's also known as the visionary with guts. She's a, uh, an established author. She's a speaker. She's a successful businesswoman in her own right. And she's a wonderful leader of the pack, if you will. And um, she's, she just has the biggest visions, the biggest ideas. You know, she brings them to the table and shares them with her sisters. And then her sisters rally around and provide the, the, equipment, to, if you will, for, right. for getting it done. The rubber hits the road. And so Trish Carr is the results revolutionary. So when you want to have, you know, tracking of the results steps, you know, like, so how are we going to measure success? Where are we going? Right. And what are the steps to get there? And then let's celebrate our success. That's Trish. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, and if you're interested, um, you can go to their website, which is www.womensprosperitynetwork.com. Right. And follow us at, at Empower Women TV. And on our website, empoweringwomeneverywhere.tv, you can pick up all of our shows and become part of a member of our group. Thank you so much.